Hello, this recording is to help you with library research. My name is Alyssa and I am the librarian assigned to the nursing department. This is my contact information. Do not hesitate to contact me at any time with your library or research questions. My email and phone number are on here. Again, please do not hesitate to contact me. These are the topics we're going to be going over today. Library resources, research assistance, the evidence-based practice research guide, steps of evidence-based practice, and finally, library databases. RefWorks is a citation management software program. You can put your references into RefWorks and it will create bibliographies for you as well as help with the in-text citations. VPN or Virtual Private Network is your off-campus ability to access the library databases and resources. Find it at MU appears when you're looking for an article and it will help you to acquire the full text. And ILL is our interlibrary loan service. You can use this when you do not have access to the article you need. This is the login page for RefWorks. The link is on the page refworks.proquest.com. If you have not done so, please feel free to create an account. As I said, this is a citation management software program. It is similar to EndNote, uh, Mendeley, or Zotero. Again, we recommend that you sign up for the virtual private network. This appears on the library's website for off-campus access. Some of the resources you have, it's not going to be able to let you access them by using your MarkNet email and password. And so we recommend using the VPN or virtual private network. If you don't have access to an article, then you can request it through Interlibrary Loan. There is a link on this page, libguides.marquette.edu forward slash ILL. Uh, if you're wondering, it can take between one and two days to receive an article. They are here Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. So if you wait, uh, if you request it late on Friday afternoon, you might not receive it until the next week. This is a research guide in evidence-based practice. It discusses the process and the, step, the steps of evidence-based research. Again, the, the link is on the, on the slide, libguides.marquette.edu forward slash EBP. These are the steps of evidence-based practice. We'll be focusing on steps one and two, formulating a clinical question and finding the best evidence to answer the clinical question. As you are aware, this is the PICO or PCOT question. P is the patient problem or population. I is intervention. C is comparison. O is outcome. And sometimes there will be a T for time or type of study. For the PowerPoint and for this presentation, I have come up with a sample question in which we can use for our literature searches today. In hospitalized patients, does the use of chlorexidine bathing cloths compare to hand soap or disinfection? So my P is hospitalized patients, my intervention is chlorexidine, my comparison is hand soap, and my outcome is infection. Since my PICO question has been developed, I can pull the, the P, the I, the C, and the O out of the question in order to help develop my search strategy. So for example, I'll look at hospitalized patients and chlorexidine or hand soap and infection. And I can use this to do a search in any database with these terms. This is on a LibGuide and this handout has been available for you. It talks about the type of clinical question that you might be interested in answering, as well as a re suggested research design. So for example, if I'm looking for a therapy clinical question, then I might want to look for a randomized control trial, a meta-analysis, or potentially a cohort study, case control, or case series. These are four of the library resources databases I'll be sharing with you today. Cochrane Library, Dynamed, CINAHL, and PubMed. If you do not have the library's website uh, bookmarked, you can always Google Rainer Library or Marquette Library and this website will appear. On the upper left hand corner, there is a gold box and there's four tabs. We will be looking at the articles and databases tabs to access the resources we need today. You can choose a topic or discipline. In this case, we will look at nursing, or you can choose a database by the particular name, such as C for CINAHL. 
The library has around 400 databases. We have chosen one specifically to nursing that will help. As you can see, they're listed in alphabetical order. The first section is the top databases with additional databases below. From the previous slide, I clicked on Cochrane Library and did a search. Cochrane Library covers systematic reviews and those highest levels of evidence. And because it covers that as a smaller database, please keep that in mind. There will not always be a systematic review on your topic. In this case, I did a search on hospital infection chlorexidine bathing, and this came up. The next resource that we are looking at is Dynamed. Again, this is on the nursing databases page. Dynamed, Dynamed is a point of care by the bedside type of resource. On the left-hand side of the screen is an index of the contents to help us go through and share, choose where we want to look. It's generally in a bulleted list, so it's easy to read and scan for information at a quick pace. The next resource that we're going to look at is CINAHL, which is Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. As you can see, the Suggest Subject Terms is automatically turned on. It will, it's not necessary for you to do a search with subject-specific terminology. If you leave it checked on, when you do a search, it will come up with a suggested list of terms for you. You can choose the suggested list of terms and then go from there. Again, there are three search boxes. Put one phrase or word of your search in each box. So in the first box, I would do hospitalized patients and chlorexidine or hand soap and infection. This shows two samples of a search. S1 has the MH inpatients. Those are the subject headings. S2 is hospitalized, which can be a keyword search. And it shows you the different types of results you'll get depending on what words you use. The final resource that we're going to look at today is PubMed. On the screen on the lower right hand side, you see more resources and then MeSH database. MeSH stands for medical subject headings. You can check those and it will help with other words or phrases you may want to use in your search. As healthcare professionals, you have a specific terminology and sometimes it won't match what's in the database. In this case, I want to again use my search on hospitalization and chlorexidine and inpatients. And so I can choose to do a mesh search on each of those terms. I did a search of chlorexidine. It provided the suggested subject term you can see here. I can then click on add to search builder and then search PubMed. And it will do a search of this subject heading in PubMed and let me see the results. Again, I ran a search on my topic using subject headings, chlorexidine infection and hospitalization. And these are the search results I got. On the left hand side of the screen are filters. And so you can use those, for example, publication dates. You can choose five years to get the most recent research. Article types will include reviews, clinical trials, as well as systematic reviews. Choose whichever art, um, article type, publication date, or filter you feel best helps your search. Again, my name is Alyssa, and this is my contact information. Please do not hesitate to contact me with your research assistant needs. We can chat on the phone through email or Skype, and I'm more than happy to work with you. And I do look forward to working with all of you in the future. Thank you.